Hey, thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to tie the Borski's Redfish Slider. I'm going to be using the Gamagatsu SS15 hook, but any saltwater long shanked hook will work. We're going to start by wrapping our thread halfway down the shank of the hook. You will want to use a strong thread, as we will be needing to apply some torque later on. A tan or brown color thread is ideal. You will want to make sure and add some head cement at this point to keep the thread from twisting. Go ahead and wrap the thread halfway down to the eye of the hook, and tie in a large dumbbell eye with a few extra wraps. It is important that the dumbbell eye is a large size in order to compensate for the, some of the materials we will be using that tend to want to float. It is always a good idea to use under wraps to lock your dumbbells in place. As always, add a drop of super glue to keep that dumbbell from moving. Now wrap your thread to halfway between the dumbbell eyes and the bend of the hook. We will now want to cut some tan or brown craft fur. To do this, you want to separate a clump of fur and cut it off close to the base. Set that clump aside and repeat the process to get a second clump. Now add the two clumps together and pull out the under fur. Finally, we will want to cut the base of our fur clump square to prepare it for tying in. Place your squared off clump of craft fur up against the dumbbell eyes and wrap in tightly. Make sure and tie back only a few wraps. Do not tie all the way to the bend of the hook. To give this a more shrimpy look, we want to take a darker color sharpie and bar the fur. Our next material is going to be a streamer saddle hackle. I like to use orange, pink, or red. Pull out the webby fibers and then cut off the excess. Now you can tie in the hackle at the exposed base. Don't forget to attach some flashy materials. Today I'm using crystal flash in a bronze color. This will mimic the antenna of a shrimp and add some shine. Tie in the flash so it extends about as far as your craft fur clump. To assist in palmering the hackle, a few fibers can be pulled out on one side of your hackle right at the base. Then wrap your thread to the other side of the dumbbell. Now we can palmer the hackle tightly right up to your dumbbell. Make sure and separate any fibers stuck together. Now capture the end of the hackle and cut off the excess. Flip your fly over in the vise as we will now be working on the other side. For this next step you can use either deer hair or elk hair. I prefer elk hair because it is less buoyant. You want to cut a large chunk of hair from your swatch at the base near the hide. Measure the chunk of hair to just longer than the hook. Mark that length and cut off the excess, but save that chunk of extra hair. Wrap your thread to the back side of the dumbbell eye. Position the hair on top of the hook shank and make two loose wraps to hold it in place. Do not tighten just yet. Pinch the hair on both sides to hold it in place. Pull straight down on your thread to tighten while pinching the hair. Make sure it does not spin on the hook. Then wrap your thread to the front side of the dumbbell. Now take the other section of hair that you had cut off. Tie that in with two loose wraps. Then proceed to spin the hair on the hook shank by pulling your thread at an angle. Then pull back with your fingers to expose the hook eye. Make a few wraps just near the eye of the hook. Now you can whip finish the fly. Whip finishing this fly is a bit tricky. Make sure and keep any fibers out of that whip finish. Now
Now we want to trim the head of the fly. Start your first cut at an angle upward towards the rear of the fly. Make cuts all the way around the head of the fly in the same angle. Now cut the extra hairs around the head of the fly in a way that creates a curve backwards. Shape the head to a cone shape with precise cuts. As the name suggests, this fly is great for redfish. It is a beautiful shrimp imitation. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Go catch some fish.